Welcome folks, I am Jabby Kawai. We are looking at uh, In Fabric trailer number one. Oh, by the way, this is Mickey Cohen. Hello. Forgot to introduce her. Cohen, even though it's got an H, you don't pronounce the H. Yeah. Or if you're in London or India, I guess it's H. Don't pronounce that. It's just a silent H. It's a silent H. Like the Cohen brothers. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yes. Okay, so In Fabric, that's what we're looking at here. Um, here we go. I don't, I don't know anything about this. Me neither. It's the first time I'm hearing about this. All right. Mm. A purchase on a horizon. I'm just looking, thank you. The hesitation in your voice, soon to be an echo in the recesses of the spheres of retail. Oui, oui. <laughs> this is your image. Is she French? Onto what you project yeah. through an illusion. I'm just going on a date. I don't normally wear this kind of thing. Be bold. Your date will compliment you. I would like you to announce the numbers to your telephone. 01632 I'm all in. Seven, eight, and eight, and six, and stop. As promised. Thank you. You look different. What's that? That looks nasty. Maybe just the washing powder. I hope it isn't catchy. How's it going, Sheila? Everything's fine. Oh, I'm Jan. Washing machine went bananas. You who wear me will know me. What's that supposed to mean? It's just a cheap bit of mystery. I think something's wrong with that dress. Don't tell me you're scared of a dress. The dog ripped it to pieces. It's funny spanking you almost. Such a pretty dress. Anything nice in the sun? What the hell? Just a dress. This has a oh my God. it has a very 80s horror vibe to I don't the know whole what thing. To feel. This is very interesting. Initially, I thought there was some kind of lesbian romance thing happening, mm -hmm. and that's when you were like, "I'm all in." I'm like, "Me too." Oh, I never thought it was a <laughs> lesbian romance. I thought it was gonna be like a movie about fashion and about like oh. the star that's uh, so. Da I didn't know it was gonna be a horror. Is it a horror movie? Uh, it looks. Like a horror You know what movie. it looks to me? Uh, have you ever seen the show Goose Goosebumps? I have, and I've read the books. It, right? It looks like a like a book from what's the name of that guy? Uh, uh, R. L. Stein or yes, something like that. Yes, I feel like it's that sort of storyline, right? Where it takes like a really spooky turn. Mm -hmm. and you're like, what's going on? I agree with you. Mm -hmm. It's definitely weird and spooky, uh, and very unsettling. More than anything, it's very unsettling. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the votes now. Fifteen hundred up. 322 down. There's a quite significant number of people who voted on this that didn't like it. If you're into like weird, trippy 80s horror, then you will definitely enjoy this, I think. There was this director I worked with because I was running a commercial audition some years back and this director from Chicago was like, yeah, I do a lot of short films with um, John Malkovich. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll check those out. And I watched them and they were all weird just like that. And I didn't know what to say to the director, because I'm like, oh, that's trippy, dude. Um, cool, uh, that was... Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I really didn't know what to say, because yeah. it was just, it was like, it was, it was almost as if he took acid and had some kind of visions, and it was like, I want to make that into a short dude, with John Malkovich. that sounds fun. This is definitely a different kind of concept, though. Yeah. I, I don't really understand the reason or the purpose behind the punishment. That's the thing that you usually know right away, or that's made clear like, I know what you did last mm -hmm. summer. Great example, right? Yeah. You know, these people accidentally killed somebody and then the punishment comes to haunt them. And so you, you sort of get a sense of it. Or in Scream, something that's a little bit more aloof where these people are kind of acting out the fantasies of horror movies. I mean, at least, you know, their favorite horror movies or whatever. Yeah. Here, I'm not really clear about why she's being punished over this dress. It looks like it's randomly picked for no reason. Yes. But maybe there is like a hidden reason behind it. There could be a hidden reason. Maybe because she's from, she's from Uruguay. Or half Italian, half Asian, or whatever. She does not look half Asian. 
<laughs> she doesn't want to be your Hawaiian either. <laughs> she could be. Yeah. Can I see the top comments? I want to see what. Sure. From Ozd B Guy, I would like you to announce the numbers of your telephone. Is how I'm asking for phone numbers from now on. <laughs> I agree with that one thousand percent. I would like you to announce the numbers. Mickey Cohen, I would like you to announce the numbers of your telephone. Sure, it's three two. It's <sighs> I, I can figure it out from there. I can figure out the rest. The second one is fashion industry scare tactic. That's why you don't buy knockoffs. Boom. That's mm -hmm. actually very, very uh, solid advice. Don't yeah. buy knockoffs. Somebody said, say no to the dress. More like hell no. Because it's ugly, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that feels like it was written by someone who was about 15 years old. Uh, <laughs> look like. That's why it's funny. <laughs> Look like one of the trailers you'd see on old 90s VHS tapes before the film. That's, that's exactly, true. I mean, that's what I'm saying is that it's got yeah. a very old vibe to it. A24 just likes to do that. A24 is really smart in that they will take these simple, simple concepts and magnify the intensity of it so it feels larger than life, so it feels like a big concept. Because of that, they're able to make these movies that get a, a huge draw because they're made for basically nothing. They're simple wow. concepts. They're simple concepts, but they're high concept, yeah. and so you get a huge draw of people who are like, ooh, I wanna watch that, you know, because it's like they're scary, and because of the simplicity, it almost makes it more scary. It makes it more real. So you would say that sometimes the trailer looks better than the movie, and that's why people will watch the movie? I wasn't saying that at all, no. but sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's a thing. I mean, sometimes the trailer is better than the movie. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you there. I would say that's definitely true for a lot of movies, but um, that wasn't what I was implying. What did they do, the teasers or the movies? No, the A24 is the film company. Oh, I thought you were talking about the teachers. Yeah, yeah, no, they're the film company that made this movie. And so they come up with a lot of cool low budget horror. I mean, low budget mm -hmm. in terms of like big picture Hollywood movies. Like it's not yeah. Avatar budget, right? Or Avengers. It's, mm -hmm. it's really like maybe one to $10 million picture movies. They're so simple and so small, but they're so interesting. That's the thing is they're so interesting. Like. Name me another movie where a woman is being haunted by a dress. No, that's why it's so fucking weird. I definitely watch it just to see what the hell it's about. Because it's like super random. When you first start the teaser, you would never expect that that's what the movie's about. Haven't you ever been haunted by a dress though? Where you, I mean, I guess not you, but I know <laughs> I have. Where I bought a dress and I was like, I need to fit into that. I'm going to lose the pound so I can fit into that red yeah, dress. Yeah. Yeah. For my prom date, and then uh, it it didn't work out. And then you look at pictures from like 2005, and you're like, wow, that dress is hunting me. Yes, exactly. It's still mm -hmm. in my closet, staring right. at me. Haven't been able to shake off the baby fat. Well, okay, so that's a stretch. Obviously, not the dress thing. You know, I've got outfits that I have yet to throw out, where mm -hmm. I'm like, this is feeling tight, but I like the shirt. Maybe I just need to be less fat, and I'll fit into this shirt, and it haunts me, because I. You know, I'll get there, exactly. Because one day I'll be just like Mickey Cohen. You know, <laughs> you know thin and beautiful and, and much younger. <laughs> I mean, so, you can dream. I can dream. Ooh. That's not a burn. That's an inspirational thing to say. <laughs> I like the French lady. You She's like her? super, you know, exotic. I almost wish that she was Japanese. Or, yeah, or, right? Because she, her hairstyle and everything has a very Asian influence to yeah, it. Yeah, but she's bald. Oh gosh, I don't know about that. No, there's like a scene in the teaser where she oh, takes she's, off. Oh, she's taking off the hair. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I guess you're right. I, mean, well, I didn't catch, I forgot about that mm -hmm. part. Her hairstyle, the earrings, the lipstick, and the makeup is all very much like a Japanese yeah, like a traditional geisha. geisha. Well, I, was, yeah. I wasn't gonna say geisha, but yeah. I mean, geisha is a fair, a fair, um, yeah. approach. Didn't you find it weird when the guy pulled out the flower and it was bent. Yeah. I'm like, what I kind? I mean, of... step up your game, friend. At least have three bent flowers. Yeah, but she's so cute. Yeah. I like her. Yeah. I'm sorry that her dress is haunting you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very interesting concept. Definitely intrigued. Yeah. I would definitely check this out with some friends with uh, Mickey Cohen. Definitely, we'll be there. When is the movie coming out? Release date, 2019. So, sometime this year. Okay. You, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Mickey Cohen on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Mickey Cohen. Peace out.